So today I'll be showing you some of the things to look out for in case your Sony Smart TV is connected to the Wi-Fi but for some reason there's no internet connection. So it does say that sometimes Wi-Fi connected but no internet. Now obviously I don't have that problem but assuming I have that problem here are a few things I could do to check that. First is to go to settings. Under settings go to network and internet. Select that and then you want to turn off that Wi-Fi connection. That basically turns off Wi-Fi on your TV. And then after a couple of moments, you want to turn it back on and have it connect to that Wi-Fi network. Now, if you still have trouble with that, then you can try connecting to a different Wi-Fi network. Maybe if you have more than one Wi-Fi networks, you can connect to a different one, including your mobile phone's hotspot and just check if everything is okay. Now, if you still have trouble with that, then you can go to your router, turn it off, and then turn it back on and see if that's going to fix the problem, okay? So you wanna turn off your router, give it a couple of moments, maybe about a minute, and then turn it back on, and then connect to your TV and see if that's going to, the problem is going to persist. Now, if you're still having trouble with that, the next thing I want you to do is to check your time and date. So go to settings. Under settings, you wanna go to system. Under system, go to date and time. Now, this date and time should be set to automatic date and time. Now, if automatic date and time has been turned off, then that could be the reason why you have the problems you have, where you have Wi-Fi connected, but no internet. So make sure you use a network provided time. So select that and that will probably fix your problem. Now, there are two more things you could do to try and fix this problem. One is to turn off the TV uh, for a couple of moments and then turn it back on. And that involves simply pressing the power button on the remote that will put the TV on standby mode. And to turn it off completely, you have to go to the power to the socket and actually completely unplug it from the wall and then count maybe about a minute, 60 seconds and then plug it back in and then switch it on again and try once more. Now, hopefully that worked. In case it didn't work, then you can try to reconnect to that Wi-Fi network. And by reconnecting, I mean completely forgetting that Wi-Fi network. So just go to your Wi-Fi settings, go to that Wi-Fi network, select it, and then scroll down and select forget network and confirm. That will completely unpair your TV from that network. And then you can go back, find that network again and connect afresh, which means you'll have to type in the password. And by the time you connect again, that should hopefully have fixed your problem. Now, it's also important to check that the network you connecting to actually has internet connection. So you might try and connect it to that network with your phone or, an, or a computer and see if the internet actually works before you think it's your TV, it could be your router. So let me know in the comment section which solution uh, fixed your problem. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, you can talk to us in those comment section. Good luck.